firstdayofhome.com and today I'm going through all of your questions about the Cricut Easy Press 3. I'll be using a plain cotton t-shirt and smart iron-on vinyl. Now this smart iron-on vinyl works with the Cricut Explore 3 or the Maker 3 machine. If you don't have one of those machines, don't worry, I'll give you instructions for using a cutting mat and regular heat transfer vinyl. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and open up this box. It always feels like Christmas with one of these new machines. It comes well packaged with a little cardboard insert and it looks like the actual heat press comes with a nice little canvas bag. My unit also came with a heat pressing mat and I will pull that out in just a moment. I'm going to hang on to this canvas bag because the practice project actually uses the bag. So we want to hold on to that and just set it off to the side. I also like that it comes with a tray to protect your work surface. This also comes standard with the Cricut Easy Press 2 machines. It's very handy so that you won't accidentally scorch your work surface. It has these little rubber feet on the bottom, which are really nice to have. This is the 9x9 heat press, and it's so much easier if you're switching from using a household iron just look at the work surface that is on this thing. For most projects, I think this size, the 9x9, is going to work. The next size up would be the 12 by 10 so if you want to do a lot of larger projects, then maybe that size works better for you. Let's take a closer look at the buttons on the heat press. You have power, temperature, time, and then you can increase or decrease either of those, and a go button. The nice thing though about the Easy Press 3 is that you don't really have to set the time and temperature yourself unless you need to do a project manually, and I'll get to that in a minute. As I mentioned earlier, my unit came with an Easy Press mat, which is really handy. It's like an ironing board for your project if you want to think of it that way. You may have to buy yours separately if your unit doesn't include one. I like that the Easy Press came with a little practice piece of vinyl and has some instructions for you to get started here. If I could summarize what's new with the latest model of the Easy Press, the Easy Press 3, it's that it uses an app and Bluetooth. So it does come with a few little pamphlets with diagrams and things to get you started like this one here, but I highly recommend starting with the new heat app that goes along with Easy Press 3. You can download the Cricut Heat app in your app store and then go ahead and follow the instructions to get it set up. Now mine is prompting me to turn on my heat press so that it can start to link via Bluetooth. Once it starts connecting with your heat press, you'll see a little Bluetooth icon light up on the actual heat press, and then all you have to do is activate it. In just a few seconds, we're ready to go, and you can go ahead and make the practice project if you'd like to. It tells you all of the instructions to start making it with the materials that were provided. We're gonna go ahead and skip to making a t-shirt instead, so you can pause this video and come back to it if you'd like to do the practice first, or we can move straight ahead. Now you can choose any design in Cricut Design Space, or I'm going to choose one of my designs in my shop. If you haven't been there before, I will put a link in the description box below. Now, I don't know about you, but I always look at things and go, I bet I could make that. So I thought this design would be perfect for this tutorial. In case you haven't seen the new Cricut Explore 3, I'll put a video here when I release my full unboxing of that machine. I do want to mention that I'm using smart materials here, which don't require a cutting mat. If you don't have a machine that takes smart materials, you can always use regular heat transfer vinyl and a standard grip mat. Mm -hmm. 
With our design all cut and weeded out, we are ready to get started with the heat press. In the Cricut Heat app, I'm going to select Smart Iron-On as my material and then choose a cotton polyester blend as my material I'm applying to. With those settings, I just follow along in the app and it sends all of the instructions to my machine. You can read exactly what you need in the app just as a reminder and you can also go through very detailed instructions of how you're going to press but you'll see in a second that you can just follow along and press the go button and it will tell the machine exactly what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and send all of the details to my machine via Bluetooth and that's it. I just follow the directions on the actual machine. So I'm gonna start by preheating my t-shirt here. It shows five seconds at 315 degrees. I just hit the go button and it tells me when to stop. And all of this in the app is giving you step-by-step -step instructions. So now we're ready to place the design. I don't even have to change any settings on my machine. Again, this is all being sent via the app over Bluetooth. So now I'm doing 30 seconds. I just hit go and it starts counting for me. And then once it's done pressing on this side, I continue following the directions in the app. Since my design is just a little bit bigger than the press, I'm just going to make sure that the very edges got pressed. So you can always do that and it won't mess up anything on the heat press if you decide to just give it a little extra press here and there. Now I'm resuming the instructions in the app by flipping the t-shirt over and giving it one last press. The app will also give you the peel instructions. So in this case, it's a cool peel. So I've waited for my shirt to cool down and now I'm peeling away the carrier sheet. This is always my favorite part of any project. Now, if you start to feel like the vinyl is sticking, you can just put the carrier sheet back down and give it a few more presses. That's always an option. The app will finally give you the care instructions, like whether you need to wait 24 hours before washing your garment or your design. That was so easy and we got a nice even distribution of heat. So we're done making our cute shirt. I hope you guys had fun with that one. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I did want to spend a few minutes answering more questions about which machine might be right for you. So I know some of you may already own an Easy Press 2. And if that's the case, you should know as of this recording, there's about maybe a $79 US dollar difference between the Easy Press 2 and the Easy Press 3. What do you get for that dollar difference? The main thing is the Bluetooth connectivity. So when you have Bluetooth with the EasyPress 3 machine, it's automatically sending all of the temperature information and time information to your machine automatically. So all you really need to do is use that free app to follow the directions. With the EasyPress 2, you still have that information on the heat press guide online where you type in, I'm making a shirt and it's this material and I'm using this type of vinyl and it will still give you the instructions. You just need to then manually put it into the Easy Press 2 machine. So if you really like to take all of the guessing out of your process, then I'd say the Easy Press 3 is a great investment for you. Um, if you're looking to be a little more budget conscious and maybe you have a preference for what color your machine is, then maybe the Easy Press 2 would be better for you. So that's another question right there. What colors does the Easy Press 3 come in? As of this recording, it only comes in this kind of light blue color and there are not other colors available yet. I don't know if there are plans to do that, but it's one standard color. The Easy Press 2 machine does have a few different colors you can choose from, like a red color, um, kind of a lavender color. So you can choose to kind of coordinate with your craft room if that's important to you. Let's also talk about the materials that you can use with the Easy Press heat presses. For both machines, you can use any kind of blank or material like a t-shirt, 
and you can choose polyester blend or cotton. You can also, of course, put uh, vinyl on canvas like this bag that came with the machine. With both machines, you can also do infusible ink projects. So I have a few blanks here like a wine bag bundle and here are some pillow covers that you can use for infusible ink but you do need to have a special material blend to be able to do those projects and the infusible ink final is sold separately so you would want to make sure you're choosing the appropriate combo there but both machines will do any of those projects so there's not really a difference in the capability of what you can press with each machine but let's talk for a minute about size so the easy press 3 comes in two sizes 9 by 9 and 10 by 12. which size is right for you well i would say for most projects the 9 by 9 is going to be sufficient you can make a t-shirt with that that's what we did today um, unless you're going to do larger projects, like maybe an extra large sweatshirt and you're going to be doing a lot of those projects, maybe in that case you would want to opt for the bigger machine. But I think for most people, the 9x9 is going to be a good size to start with. And the Easy Press 2 also comes in that 9x9 size. One of the other questions I've heard is whether you need to have a mobile device and the app to use the Easy Press 3 machine. The answer is yes, you do need the free app that comes with the heat press. However, once you register the machine and get it set up on the app, you can still access the app if you have a tablet like an iPad or on a MacBook if you have the newer M1 processor. I know that's kind of a lot of information there, but you should know that the app is really created for a mobile experience. And so if you're using one of those other devices, you're going to kind of see that skinny screen on the side to operate the app. So I think that's wonderful. I think it's really easy to use your phone to operate the machine. You don't have to lug your laptop around if you have your machine in a different room, but you should know that going in that it's really designed for mobile first experience. Finally, I did want to mention while Cricut makes a lot of wonderful blanks or materials that you can press onto, you can use other materials that are non Cricut brand the only thing you'd want to keep in mind is you may have to manually set the settings, but you can do that in the app. So that's the great thing. I won't go into all of the details in this video about how to do that, but you should know that you can always still have the flexibility to enter your own temperature and time in your machine. If you have any other questions that I missed, drop them in the comments below. I would love to know how I can help you more. Also, if you're looking for more Cricut tutorials, then I will have a playlist with all of the videos. You can check out these over here in the meantime, and I'll drop them in the comment box below. I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.